We are giving you another show with really great musicians yes. and bands and lots of fun stuff. So cool. Mm -hmm. We're really stoked because we have so many great bands from around the keep world. Keep them coming. Keep sending them in. So Andy Dukey Duke sent me their band called Tetris or Flesh Tetris. I love the name of that, by the way, Flesh Tetris. It's just we were talking about the video game Tetris. Even Tetris size, square, rectangle, trapezoid, Tetrazoid. He's still holding the Game Boy and play it. And it's trippy for hours. You have to like line up all the in the box. Or almost you die. like, almost like. Um, what was that, Space Invaders? Oh. Trading the invaders won't stop us from the sky they drop. Three out of this world games from Atari. Centipede. Space Invaders, you, yeah, in Centipede, you shoot them, but Tetris, mm -hmm. you have to like line the boxes up and they have to fit in the. Like you're packing a movie truck. Or yeah, packing a closet. Totally. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I never played that game because it would just stress me out. I, I, I didn't No, literally, it would stress me. me out because I just don't have the, the I attention. I would play over and over and over again and not very good. I don't have the attention very good. far. So anyways, Andy Dukey Duke <laughs> sent me the video from his band called Flesh Tetris. And he's also connected with Tony Gleed from England, who is on our show every once in a while and I believe he knows Julie Hamill as well and maybe John Robb and Mike Circle Spencer we have a whole group of people from England oh Mike Spencer too mm -hmm. from our Saturday show and uh, anyway so I was kind of stoked because he sent me a message and I knew about him because he's like connected with all those people but I didn't know he had a band Called knew, Flesh Tetris? Yeah, I just knew he did like a radio show sometimes with those guys. And so, you know, and when you don't know somebody personally and you just kind of connect every once in a while, like, you know, through the internet or whatever. But then it's crazy when you find out the connections that you actually do have. Yeah, it's you start to look through it. Well, that part's cool. Yeah, that part's totally cool. But I just didn't understand like the big picture because if you don't talk to them on a regular mm -hmm. basis, then you just don't understand. I didn't know he had a band. So anyways, this band called Flesh Tetris is trippy. And yes. it's fun. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to play one of their videos today, but they have another video I can't wait to play. I can't oh, I can't wait, wait for that one either. That I know. fun too. Because it's just so funny mm -hmm. and trippy. So, anyways, the song that they're playing. The song, name of the song is almost as rad as the name of the band. It's so funny. Okay, mm -hmm. so we got to give a little backstory because when you hear the name of the band, you're going to understand. Is anybody who is old enough to know that when you're partying and hanging out, you don't want little minions mm -mm. that are underage? Nope. That's trouble. 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 And a lot of guys get sucked into that vortex because they're thinking with their reptilian brain. Yes, or they don't know. Oh, they, they know. know. <laughs> they know, they just don't think correctly. Or, I don't know, we were just talking about this earlier. The girls wear so much makeup these days when oh, they're Oh my gosh, like we were talking about the, the you YouTube can't even videos tell the, they and, the, and the, what is it called? Um, Instagram videos where they put the makeup on, they start off looking like a 12 year old kid, they end up looking like a 40 year old woman. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and some of them look like. Yeah. They're <laughs> putting on a mask. It's like a whole different face. <laughs> oh, the one. They cut the nose off afterwards. You know, it's not even like it's not even prosthetics. It's actual makeup. It's like what the f yeah. Like, seriously, put, like like so much. I was like thinking, are you seriously like I'd be so embarrassed to go out after putting on a mask. Ask a gentleman who they prefer. Ten out of nine will say the poly, <laughs> the most dashing. Like you put on a mask and then you go see people in real life and it's and like you know, it's on a video you can tell I know on a video you can't tell it mm -hmm. looks like real almost like it's trippy they do all this what contour contour and the tape the first thing I see is the foundation and then they do this brown stuff everywhere mm -hmm. then, oh it looks like they put paint on then they do the white stuff everywhere <laughs> and then they do the friggin false eyelashes and then another coat. And then they do the eyebrows that look like but then it's freaking, a whole other coat of all What the was that posture. artist? What was that artist? The eyebrows. She was known for the eyebrows. 
Oh, Frida. Frida. <laughs> Dude, that's like in style now, I guess. The freaking Unibrow or, or the Brooke Shields eyebrows, but they're a little over the top. And then you got the eyebrows, and then you got the lips that are like... Or the eyebrows that are... <laughs> yeah. And then you got Just the lips that kind of enter the room before you do. Oh my gosh, and then the asses too. Literally, guys, come on. I don't think they're, I've I seen Everything ads is, where you can buy the shorts that have the pads. Oh my God, butt. I was watching a but video. But I'd be embarrassed if someone comes up and grabs your butt. I was watching a video where people get butt implants and they're so, mm -hmm. like, it's so gross. How do you sit down? Their butts are ridiculously that hurt? not even proportioned to their body. You're everybody, blocked. everybody on the planet has body dysmorphia. It's so That's weird. True. And I, it's the internet's fault for that. I think well, that doesn't help. The internet does not oh help because you see these people that are all made up and fake, and they want to be like fake. That. It's like Iggy Pop. It's fake. Yeah, fake. <laughs> and then in French, yeah, the guy in French was saying it something. I forgot. I don't know French. how you say. Foul. Something Foul? mal. Something Foul? mal. I don't know. But anyways, people are so fake. It's so weird. So anyways. How are we even on that? I don't know. Again, circle. It's a circle. Yep. It's we our, started off with our flesh, labyrinth. flesh tetris. It's okay, because guess what? That's life. It's a circle of Down life. Down the rabbit hole. It's a circle of life. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. Tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm? Yep, we took the red pill this mm -hmm. morning. Yep. So you're going to be on a journey with us down the rabbit hole. Goodness. What if I should fall right through the center of the <laughs> and come out the other side where people walk upside down? And so, anyways, with Flesh Tetris, we were talking about girls, young girls who wear too much friggin' makeup yeah. and you can't even tell how old they are. And then they want to hang out with older dudes. And they, and they want to part they want to party. Trouble. They want to party. Trouble. But the cool thing is about this song, I was laughing my butt off because they totally call these girls out. It's like, get it's out. It's hilarious. Go yep. Shoo shoo. Yep. Go back to Need the playground. Need more of that. Go back to the playground. <laughs> yep. Yep. Go chase the ice cream. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you got to earn your, you got to earn your party status because. That is true. Young. Yeah. You have to be a professional. A professional. <laughs> professional partier. <laughs> you have to earn your stars. Anyway, so. We're going to go ahead and play the video because this is funny. So we just want to give you a background so you understand. Because the title of the, title of the song funny. is a bit trippy, but you'll get it. So anyways, this is Flesh Tetris. Thank you, Andy Dookie Duke. And the name of the song is Jail Bait Sex Pest Infestation. Guys, we had a long old intro on that one, but you can see why. <laughs> that was a good one, though. He called those girls out. Need to do that. Need more of that. Put them back in their place. Get back to the playground. You gotta earn your wisdom, girls. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways, so, Flesh Tetris. 
jail bait sex. I'm gonna look at more of this stuff, and I can't, I can't wait to be able to play the video. <gasps> jail bait sex infestation. That's, that's awesome pretty funny. Title. Sex pest. Sex pest. pest. Infestation. The pest part is the best part. That's oh, awesome. Because mm -hmm. it is a pest. Go away. <laughs> yep, look at the roaches. Go away. This next band we have for you is the Adam Age, and I love these guys. Uh, Dave Klein from Dave Klein Recording. You guys, yes, know? we met he him actually at your wedding. Turned, mm -hmm. He's a really cool dude. Oh, he is. He actually turned me on to um, the Adam Age. He sent me. I had my other show, and he used to do the weather on that. He the sent me some of the music. Awesome. Yeah, he was a weatherman. Do we need Dave to have Klein's him? weird, yeah. wacky weather? We should have him do that. Yes. Yeah, they totally can. Yes. I even had an intro where he was sorry, where he would say, "This is Dave's wacky, weird weather." It was so awesome. Yeah, we'll have to do that on here. I'll, I'll get a hold of him. But this is the Adam Age. They are out of Oakland, California, and they're actually going to be playing the end of the month, I believe, like up in Portland area, up in Santa Cruz. Oh, cool. And they tour all the time. They're a lot of fun, really high energy. So if you happen to be in the area, check them out, and you're going to love this video. I said before, Elvis is my first crush. Wise men say only fools rush. I like this video. <laughs> And Elvis has <laughs> left the building. In this video, I guess Elvin was Elvis was Wastoid. The name of the song is Wastoid. That was the Adam Age with Wastoid. I love their music. It's so dancey. And Viva like, Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. I love Elvis. Elvis, Elvis. Now I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It has to be fried with bananas. I want to shoot a TV. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. We gotta go to the desert and do that. Watch it explode. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love, I actually love shooting shotguns. When you have a, a like a clay pigeon shooter, have you ever done? No, that? I've seen it. Oh yeah. my god, it's so much fun! You just like it's like I don't know. They might have like kind that you can control, like you program. Well, I'm your sure phone they have all kinds point. of stuff now. Yeah. Back in the day, before we had all the cool stuff, you had to launch it. We right. actually had to pull a string, like you go pull, mm -hmm. and it like launches this sort of disc, a clay disc, do it. and, you and then you just like. Sh you probably had a good shot too. It's fun. I love shooting shotguns. We should go do that. Just like on Pulp Fiction. 
Oh, yeah. So that was cool. And so Elvis and Shotgun's TV. And the that was rad. Yes. So do you have any backstory on that? Like, so wait, so you, so. That age, that? yeah. That's a, the Dave Klein introduced me to them. Does so he the know them? Yeah. He knows them. Okay. He's, yeah, I think when he was with Agent Klein, Orange, they, what, they, they toured, Adam Age played, um, toured with them. Did a oh, tour of them. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That would have been a fun one to see. Right? Then with Agent Orange, that kind of music is just, the energy must have just been nonstop. So much fun. Mm -hmm. Wait, does a dude come on stage in that outfit? No. Oh, that was just mm -hmm. for the video? Yeah, just for, okay. but, but they're, but they're. What's with jumpsuits? Oh, I was watching the video and I'm like, I remember when I was like probably in like fourth grade and I had a jumpsuit. Remember when you had a suit where you put it on and the zipper starts here? Yep. And goes all yeah. like it's like a onesie. What is <laughs> up with that? Now, girls, that's one thing, but guys, with have their you package, seen the new ones though? Those the guys with their stupid with rompers. Their, don't dude. wear rompers. So you got a, uh, a Whole Foods bag. So you must really, really be looking for a man in a romp him. Yo, you need to leave this bum ass dude and get with a dude in a romper. Yeah, what the? What's up, dog? <laughs> it's a bad idea. Okay, we're gonna public service announcement. <laughs> it's guys. like all plaid or like pineapples. Don't, don't. It's not, guys, it's not attractive. Number one, whatever happened in the 80s, I don't know what happened <laughs> with the freaking spandex pants. <laughs> Okay, leather is fine. <laughs> spandex <laughs> pants, when you get a package, spandex pants True. is not attractive. Ooh, sweaty guys. package. I don't even get <gasps> package, period. We don't want to see the whole like thing outlined in the whole like. The sauciness that I find extremely attractive. You guys think that's so rad? It is so pathetic, guys. It's like it totally looks like you're trying way too hard. So spandex. Socks, like. David Lee Roth, spandex, and onesies are not for dudes, okay? Just be like fucking Jim Morrison and wear some leather yeah. pants. They're cool, right? Yeah, leather pants work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> moving on. Next thing is John Robb from the Membranes. I'm now with John from the Membranes. <laughs> And we talked about his album on the last show, which is he's always doing what lots nature of stuff, gives, right? nature mm -hmm. takes away. And oh, he, that's the one with the beautiful ballet mm -hmm. dancer. Oh. He was like doing a space thing for a while, and then he had the the nature. All his songs on the next album is all about nature. So that's hence, that's awesome. hence the name of the album. What nature gives, nature takes away. And so he's a brilliant artist as well and he has him and you know what i think andy dookie duke and i hope i'm not wrong i think they both do the louder than more you mm. know the the, the mm -hmm. fanzine yeah on oh online. you know what i think you're right and because I, I have looked up some of the bands Rob. on there for Dude, we're show. having another yeah. six degrees mm -hmm. of separation. You know what, you're right. I found that, and I found that an accident. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were tied to that. When I was yeah. looking for music for the show, I came across that, and it had an article about, I think, some of the top DIY bands in the yeah. UK. So I pulled some of those bands off to play on the show. Yeah. So they do Louder Than War, which is a rad. Go it's to, cool. Go to Louder Than War if you want mm -hmm. the latest updates on really cool bands. Oh, yeah, lots of good music stuff there. Because... On their last, probably one of their last um, subscriptions. I don't know what you call a like a zine. A subscription. zine. I guess it's a subscription. A volume. <laughs> Remember, we used to call them yeah. volumes. They were volumes mm -hmm. back in the day. But anyways, this band that he sent me was so amazing. Okay, it's two girls with bass and a tom tom drum, and singing really trippy poetic. It lyrics. is trippy. Yeah, it's so cool. I guess they call it, it's kind of like, wait, I think they're from, where are they from? They're from, oh my gosh, they're from Wales. Oh, uh, they're So they're two cool Welsh stuff. girls. I'm actually part Welsh. There you go. Yeah. So anyways, um, so anyways, the name of the band is Glove and the name of the song is Elevator. And these girls are so cool because they're so abstract. It reminds me of something you hear like at Poetry Night. Yes. Something that you'd see in like a... Uh, with the it's factory. very obscure. The factory mm -hmm. with Andy Warhol. Mr. Warhol, can we have a minute? 
Now's not a good time. This is a BM. Yeah, Back when yeah. things used to be really trippy. Factory, yeah. It's like the slits crossed with Patti Smith. Very artsy. So cool. So anyways, we're going to play you this video. Thank you, John Rob, for sending me these wonderful women. Keep sending more. Totally cool. So anyways, I was blown away because I love abstract. I love abstract. My brain just it's connects to abstract so much and these girls are exactly that. So we're going to show you what we're talking about. This is the band Glove and the song is Escalator. And I told you guys it was cool. It's it was interesting. Like mm -hmm. Abstract. Talking about going down the rabbit hole. My brain went. I love that. I want to go down the rabbit hole all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm always in the rabbit hole. We were shooting the video um, a couple weeks ago, and I had that picture of me and the rabbit because there was a rabbit in the back. That was cute. So and I, I said, yeah, and I actually said, remember from the Matrix? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Followed the white mm -hmm. rabbit. Mm-hmm. And he was so soft. It was a nice rabbit. Aww. It's cute. <laughs> Is that their pet? Yeah. Aww. Lives under the shed. Yep. Mm -hmm. So cute. Under the shed. Yeah. That'd be a good name for a band. Under the shed? Yeah. Under the boardwalk. That's different. <laughs> Completely different. Okay. So we did that gloves video was awesome though. I love it because they're so abstract and, and so they had unique. Gloves. It was gloves. And it makes my like I love abstract sort of concepts because makes your brain work. Yeah, mm -hmm. it actually does because life on like a regular scale is super boring to me. So I need, I'm so happy that people are doing this stuff. You have no idea. You're like, it captures your attention. I'm like, I feel like I'm alive again. She's alive. Alive. I'm so happy yes. you guys, you guys roll. So anyways, um, the next video is TV Smith and the Midnight Creeps. Now there's a little back history here. Because every once in a while we like to throw some old stuff in too because 
There's a lot of old music, which I hate to say old because there's no time what and space. Called, what would we call it? Um, there is no time and space. Yeah. So what we're going to say is something that you may have heard before and very, very cool stuff. So TV Smith was from the adverts. That's from 1977-ish about, Something right? like okay. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, UK. Mm -hmm. And there's a band called the Midnight Creeps, which normally a girl sings for. But it looks like TV Smith is singing for the band in this video. And next week we're going to show you. So it's like you. a merge of TV Smith and the Midnight Creeps. Yeah, because you know bands just do that. They all hang out with each other. They're like Lego sometimes. Just yeah, put just put them together. <laughs> and so... Next, the next show, we're going to show you the Midnight Creeps with... I can't wait for that. With the girl sitting mm -hmm. in the front. She's cool. She's really cool. We'll bring that up next time. So anyways, but this right now is TV Smith and the Midnight Creeps and the song is Back from the Dead. Because you know what? The funny thing is, is a lot of these bands who have been around forever... <sighs> They probably feel like they're coming back from the dead. It seems like it's a trend right now, though, because I know, like, the Bastards were around back in the Oh, my the gosh. Time. You know, so many bands that are... Um, we're so happy. Yeah, yeah, that have been around, like, in the late 70s, and now they're having, like, a revival. It's awesome. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank God, because you know what? That's when things are really cool, and the concept of recording and music and lyrics was so much more unique. It's actual talent. It's not wasn't wasn't processed. We didn't have as many yeah, and we didn't have, and yeah, all stuff we didn't have as now. many distractions. Mm -hmm. So I'm really stoked when these bands keep doing their thing and they keep doing their thing really well. Yep. So this is a perfect keep example of that because I love the energy that comes from this this song. And we're gonna show that to you right now. It's T V Smith, the Mid and the Midnight Creeps, Back from the Dead. videos like that too it brings out the raw the vintage mm -hmm. sort of feel mm -hmm. yeah and the energy in that video is so cool yes there's something about when we used to like just our time on the planet decades ago was just so cool and I'm just really stoked when the bands can well, it wasn't processed it's like, bring it pro out. like processed food is all not real food it's like the same thing now everything check it out I mean, when we used to want to computer and yeah, yeah when we used to want to hang out with people we used to have to show up at a gig or go like make a plan and or pick it, up a phone and dial think about or... it you had to be home to get a phone call you couldn't just like you mm -hmm. didn't have your phone everywhere and it's so weird right it's just yeah. trippy i'm so glad i grew up when i did so i have some sort of concept of reality mm -hmm. anyway so that was tv smith and the midnight creeps singing back from the dead and our next video is yay we have love and rockets right so flashback yes because we love love and rockets we love Love and Rockets, we love Bauhaus, and we mm -hmm. love Tones on Tail. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yes, and the three things that those three bands have in common is Daniel Ash, who's an amazing... Very He talented. plays bass and guitar. And the lyrics in these songs, seriously, 
in all of their music. They are aliens. They have to be aliens because they're so brilliant. I was going to say he's genius with the stuff that he does. Yeah. Beyond. Is, yeah. Beyond. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Daniel Ash and the rest of the guys. We are stoked on the music you bring us and we would like to share that. Yep by playing your video your video today. Anyway, so Love and Rockets has many cool yes, videos. Yes, they do have lots of cool videos. It was kind of like- I have all the songs kind of like going in a medley in my head oh right my now. Oh my gosh, like so many, so many. Anyways, I know I just started like lost spacing <laughs> out because like, um, No New Tale to Tell. Mm, oh, no. Yeah. That's a rad one. Like yes. you cannot go against nature. Mm -hmm. So much good stuff. Because if you do, going in against nature is part of nature too. Exactly. So you can't do it. Deep, deep lyrics. Mm -hmm. But we're going to play today, we're going to play Yin Yang, the flower pot man. And the lyrics are rad and the video is so rad mm -hmm. too. So you're going to like it. Here we go. You guys remember our love and rockets, but they're so rad we have to keep playing them. Here we go.
was Love and Rockets with Yin Yang, the flower pot man. Love them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So cool. Always have. And so, our next video is really cool too. Tony Manila sent me. Always good stuff, Tony. Always. Love it. He sent me Kevin Armstrong. And if you guys look up Kevin Armstrong, he's played with many people. Oh, it's like a big laundry list. It's huh? a it's bigger than your Where CVS start? receipt, right? CVS receipt. <laughs> <laughs> CVS or Costco, I don't know. You get those receipts uh, for all the coupons? Oh, yeah, 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 Miles there you go. miles, yeah. Kill more trees. <laughs> Anyways, so we got... We were so out there. <laughs> Kevin Armstrong has played with David Bowie, Iggy Pop, Thomas Dolby, Brian oh, Eno, and Alien Sex Fiend, which is trippy. So many. Like, those are all, like, variation. top level... Top level and mm -hmm. such a wide variety of different genres. So, mm -hmm. pretty cool. So, this video, he's doing his own thing and it's really cool. He's got like gold all over his face. Yeah, it's like a gold devil. Kind of like 007, remember? Mm -hmm. Gold number. Oh, good gold. <laughs> Yep, love that gold stuff. So anyways, it's a really cool rockin' video too. So Kevin Armstrong, thank you for coming back. Yes, and bring more. Just like everybody else. Just keep on rocking, guys, because mm -hmm. you guys rule. And this song is called Leukocytes of Love. <laughs> Thing I don't need Maybe we could work it out Both agree to stick it out together How were we designed to roll? So what'd you guys think? Told ya. I like the gold devil man. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yep. And he's rocking. He sounds great. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. I keep getting distracted by the hot chick over here. The hot With chick. the boobs? The boobs. See? Oh my <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> what that's the video we played last time that was 
Um, How um, do the I Western, not remember? Western with the burlesque dancer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So look, that's a, I keep getting distracted. From Paris. Mm -hmm. She was licking something France. earlier, and I was like, what is she doing over yeah. there? Hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. talented. <laughs> we have we're, to try that. We're both sort of like, yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, and, yeah, we've got all kinds of... <laughs> This is like the ADD channel, and then we got the Amel snippers. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing her back over there eating over stuff. Over there, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Amel. She, has all, she has three guys on a leash, come on. We want to see them. I want to see Amel with snippers. She's We're so gonna cool. We're going to have to. Mm -hmm. I love her hair. It's so 70s. Yeah. Okay, so that was Leukocytes of Love from Kevin Armstrong. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you guys for keep on to keep on rocking. I'm, we're so stoked. Uh, we want more of you guys to keep doing your thing. Yes, don't forget to subscribe and check out us on Instagram and go to theextremeradio.net, upload your videos, and you can chat with Christina or myself there as well. What's your Instagram account name? Uh, Miss Cat Monroe, M-S-K-A-T-M-O-N-R-O-E. <laughs> L M N O P, and I am, and I am Christina Extreme Radio on Instagram, and we also have a profile on the Extreme Network and all the other places. So go there and make your own prof profile, upload your videos, upload your pictures. We would like to see you on the Extreme Network because mm -hmm. the cool thing is, it's a place where artists and musicians connect and they're usually most people on the site are pretty cool. Yes. You it's like, it's like, a, like a creative outlet. It's mm -hmm. like the cool planner we were talking about in high school. Where yeah, you the... like the square at Huntington mm -hmm. High School. Yeah. So you want to go there and just check square it out. that wasn't square. <laughs> the round square. Mm -hmm. Round square in the yeah round peg in the square. <laughs> yeah. What is it? The round square. <laughs> square peg. No, round peg square. Oh my gosh! There was a show called Square, square Pegs. Pegs. Yes. That's so mm -hmm. funny. So yeah, we were nothing but square at the square. Yeah. So anyways, we had a great time hanging out with you guys yes. and sharing more music. And please, if you have any cool bands or videos send that them you our way. know of, please send them our yes. way. Either to our Instagram. Well, I don't know about you can send there. Yeah, I think you can send can it. You? Okay, yeah. if you can send it to Instagram or to the Extreme. Yeah, that's just the best them on thing. The extreme, upload extreme. Because, you know, we actually have an area where we can upload mm -hmm. your videos. So just put them on the Extreme Network. You just go to the plus sign somewhere on the site. I think it's on the corner. Where's Waldo? That corner, yeah. Find the, the plus sign. It's fine. Uh, yeah, one it's of the fun. corners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make your brain think. Yep. Look for the plus sign. Load the video. Yeah, we're not only going to see it, but other people are going to see it, too. Yeah, and it's yeah. cool. Producers. That's, see, that's the cool thing. We're going to look at these videos and maybe put them on our shows, the upcoming shows. And beyond just our show, oh my gosh, I see Rika, too. That's mm -hmm. so funny, the Beast. Oh, the, yep, I was, I was distracted by that one, that's too. That's so funny. The eyelashes. That's so, such a rad, they are such a mm -hmm. rad band. I want to see them, too. And look at, there's a fire in a butt now. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> So, anyways, oh my gosh, she's just tripping. Like, what the? <laughs> We're gonna have okay. to. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, please load your videos because there are people on the extreme all day long mm -hmm. checking out the videos. So, not only do you have the potential of being on one of our upcoming shows, you get a new audience. You got an audience who are on the site specifically mm -hmm. to look at the new music. Yeah, and who knows about. what they're gonna do with the videos? Who knows? Yeah. Could be good stuff. Who knows what anybody's gonna do about anything? <laughs> <laughs> so we know what we're gonna do though. We're gonna see you next time. We are with more videos. Mm -hmm. Same bad time, same bad channel. Yep. See you next time. And my shirt that is, it's like spot. It's moving. Yeah. yeah. Motion. Bye. <laughs>